Why don't you ever get a dress like that? What is it about a red dress that seems to drive men wild? Were you listening to me, Neil? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? After all, in the real world, red means danger. Fire, stop, don't walk. But when it comes to love, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. This amorous fashion statement has been turning heads from Hollywood to the White House for decades. It's beautiful red lace with a hot pink under it. Even the ancient Egyptians wore red lipstick and rouge to gain the affection of male suitors. It turns out they were onto something. Researchers at the University of Rochester recently proved that men find women more attractive and more sexually desirable when they wear red versus any other color. Of these two pictures, which do you find more attractive? Uh, red. Red. Yeah, red. Blue. Red. <laughs> red. <laughs> Researchers say the link is part cultural. It's paired with Valentine Day and red hearts and lipstick and rouge. It's just used in kind of a context of sexual attraction. And part evolution. Take the female baboon. When her derriere turns red, it's a sign to all available males that she's looking for a mate. But will the results of this study hold up in the jungle of New York City? It's time to go undercover. Lady in red. That's right. I'm going speed dating. So you're tearing 518 tonight, that's your lucky number. The experiment is simple. I'll spend half of my eight eight-minute dates in a red dress and half in purple. Though the daters know they're being filmed for a story on speed dating, they don't know that I'm a part of the setup. Okay, so we're four dates down, we have four to go. I'm done with the red dress. It's time to switch into the purple dress. Here it is. And I'm dying to see if any of the guys actually notice that I've changed dresses and changed colors, and we're gonna see where that conversation goes. So, if you don't mind, I gotta change. Would you? Thank you. <laughs> Only one of my dates picked up on the color change. The others didn't notice, even when discussing our outfits. Why'd you go with a red sweater? It's pretty much it was just kind of what's in the closet. It turns out the color didn't prove to be a factor in landing a second date. But two of my speed dating suitors provided some male insight. I have a confession. My name is Taryn, I am number 518. Right. But I'm not really a speed dater, I'm actually a correspondent with Good Morning America. Uh-oh. <laughs> Would you say you're more drawn to a woman if she's wearing red, or is red something that draws you to a woman? I think the red color makes people get excited. You want to approach that woman. So if that's the case, why don't we all wear red? Meet my fellow speed dater, Kelly, who spent the evening in a beguiling blue. So when you go to something like this, obviously what's on your mind is, what am I going to wear? So you consciously chose the color blue. Yeah, after two hours of going through everything <laughs> in my room. Did you think about wearing red? You know, I had one thing that was red, and I thought it might be too much. I didn't want it to look like I was trying too hard or like. <laughs> if you do decide to do something like this again, depending yeah. on tonight's success, uh -huh. would you wear red? Possibly. Well, hearing the study, I would definitely <laughs> give it a give it a thought. Now, I understand a little birdie told me that you actually do some online dating. Yes. What color are you wearing in the pictures posted on your profile? Black. So wearing black in your profile, what kind of success are you having? Um, none. <laughs> So how about this? What do you say we put you in a red outfit? Something red. Mm -hmm. Revamp your profile, <laughs> repost it, uh -huh. and see what kind of success we can get from it. I'm in. You're in? Fine, yeah. Okay. Here's Absolutely. to harmonious relationships. Let's do <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> here's to red. Yay. <laughs> Okay, everybody, here's the update. I spoke to Kelly last night. Get this, in just two days, two days, she received more emails and more people looked at her profile wearing red than she did over the entire previous week wearing black. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I decided to take her lead. I actually posted my own online profiles. Mm -hmm. Two exactly identical profiles. The only difference, take a look, were the color shirts I was wearing. And wouldn't you believe, over a 24-hour period, right. I got 25% more emails for the red <laughs> profile. Go figure. Isn't that something? Yeah. I wasn't expecting it. Well, I, I often, when we wear red, it's because we've been up all night. Because it also makes you seem so awake and alive when you wear, wear red. And you both did, actually. On November the 18th, we did a little digging. You both independently, coincidentally, ah, wore red that the on same that day? day. It was the same day. How did you guys feel that day? When you walked out, you oh, we're both in red. Does it make I you feel different? I felt my pupils were excited. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what he said in the piece? Makes well, your pupils excited? <laughs> it does. It does. I guess that's a way of saying it. But it's not, it, it, it's primarily that it gets your attention. 
that's so like that state. signals confidence, right? It is. And it then is. beyond that, who knows? Yeah, but does it make you feel different? Like, do you guys, let's say we're wearing green, you're green mm -hmm. today, Robin. When you're wearing red, do you feel any sense of, I don't know, maybe empowerment? Yeah, when, when I wore the jacket outside, I felt like I owned this place when I had that red jacket <laughs> on out there.